you so much again. I'd like quickly 10 minutes. Uh, this presentation was for 20 minutes. I've been told to take only 10 minutes. So I'll try to move very quickly. Uh, in the first presentation, I showed uh, the various environmental and social and health impacts of tobacco. But for this particular presentation, I will try to go straight into solutions. Uh, one of the alternative crops that we are trying. It's just a research project and we are trying bamboo as an alternative crop to tobacco so that farmers can stop uh, growing tobacco, they can start bamboo. Now this project is, also, is the one which is being funded by IDMC <laughs> Canada uh, since 2006 up to this year. Uh, it is being funded under this uh, framework for the WHO framework. Uh, the project is supposed to advise uh, the implementation of this framework. That's what we have been doing. We collect information when we get conclusions. We share it with WHO so that they are able to see how to implement Article 17 and uh, Article 18. So our project was funded so that it can be able to advise the implementation of the two articles. Now, under the Kenya Government Tobacco Control Act 2007, uh, we have two articles which actually indicated that we are supposed to develop policies to promote the economically viable alternatives to tobacco. This is just within our law. It's not the MCTC now. It's within the Kenyan laws that we are supposed to develop policies. So we are at this stage of now de developing policies. We have not yet come up with a full policy, but the law is there. So. Hopefully by next year, we have a full policy how the government should be funding the alternative crops. Now, the objective of our project is to experiment how bamboo can be an alternative crop, to change the lives of farmers where they are having various socio-economic problems, cultural problems, health problems, and the general environmental <coughs> problems. How can bamboo be able to sort out most of these problems? Now, we are using various methods. We are doing farm trials of bamboo. We have planted bamboo in the fields in 2006. We are doing household surveys to understand the problems of farmers. We are doing capacity building, several trainings, demonstrations, extensions, and etc. So, we are giving farmers all the information that they require. We are doing the experiment uh, in one of the sites, which is South Nyanza, just for experimental purposes. So this is not a development project, this is just a research project, and we have decided to do it in one of the sites where there is the largest concentration of, of tobacco. Now, in terms of uh, capacity building, uh, we have trained farmers on uh, land preparation, planting, farm management, propagation, harvesting, treatment, processing, marketing, cooperative management. And we have provided the manuals, and we have also taken them for field trips on where bamboo is being grown. So in the pictures there, you are able to see where we are doing indoor workshops. We are also doing field demonstrations. Uh, this old man here is the one who introduced tobacco in Kenya in 1971. He was a member of parliament, was a politician. He's the first person. I think he went to Brazil and he came with tobacco from Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> now, we are using him, he's still alive, but now he's not a member of parliament. He's the first bamboo farmer in Kenya. So, <laughs> so when we started our experiment, he's the first bamboo farmer. 
but now he has stopped tobacco. Yeah. Uh, we took farmers to where bamboo was being grown, but not as a crop, but maybe in the forest. We took our farmers there. And then we have organized our farmers in the various groups for cooperatives. Because currently our farmers don't have cooperatives, they don't have any associations. But now we had to organize them so that we can be able to move forward. We planted our bamboo and uh, we have been doing monitoring, uh, a lot of scientific monitoring and monitoring. We are doing monitoring of uh, various scientific parameters like survival rates, the number of currents, the height, the diameter, the number of shoots, all kinds of things and uh, we are coming up with various models but I'm not going to present those scientific models here. So we do a lot of monitoring and uh, we have done publications on, on the same. <coughs> now quickly I'd like to say that bamboo likes uh, gentle sloping areas. Uh, the soils should not be waterlogged. The altitude should be from zero to 1,700. Uh, or even slightly above, no problem. The mean temperatures where bamboo can do very well between 18 to 25, but sometimes it can go to extremes. This is just average. Mean annual rainfall for it to do very well between 900 to 2800. One of the interesting things about bamboo is that it is the fastest growing plant now in the world. It can grow up to 1.2 1 meters in 24 hours. So you can actually watch bamboo growing. In three months, bamboo can grow up to 30 meters high. Then it tries to mature over time for a period of three years. Survival rates, you can achieve up to 95%. The biomass productivity is very high, 50 tons per hectare per year. Uh, it has high cell regeneration rates, and so far, Babu has 2,000 uses recorded. Uh, it can be harvested for also for a period of 40 to 120 years. The moment you plant once, you don't need to plant every year like tobacco. Just plant once, and for 120 years, you can be harvesting. So you can see. Uh, from one plant, it, uh, within three years, it can give you up to even 100 or 150 calves. Now, it has uh, over 2,000 uses because you are able to use the branches, the rhizomes, the stems, the poles here, uh, the leaves, the shoots, all these things have uses. That's why uh, there are 2,000 uses in bamboo. Now, this is, I want to demonstrate briefly how bamboo grows very fast. This is when we started our experiment in uh, 2006. These are the farmers we started working with. <laughs> After 12 months, our bamboo was of this size. Then, after 24 months, this, uh, our, our bamboo grew within two years. This is our farm after 36 months. So you can see how, how bamboo grows very fast. Yeah? So within a period of three to four years, your bamboo is ready and you can use it now for, for various products. Now, from our study, we have found out that uh, in terms of profits, bamboo can give, be able to give you four to ten times higher than tobacco farming, depending on the production value chain. So still, you can make up to 10 times more from the same acreage. And uh, bamboo grows very well in the same areas where tobacco grows. So it's a very good alternative. <coughs> One area is, uh, you can see, I showed you this picture, how tobacco has uh, actually destroyed our forests. But Look at our farm here of two years, how green it is. That means 
if you can use bamboo, you can actually change this heap within two years. Yeah, the, heat, the forest which has been cleared by tobacco, you can actually use bamboo to rehabilitate this area within two to three years. Look at China, how they have used bamboo to rehabilitate their hills. So we are also able to achieve this in Kenya, and the experiment has actually shown that. Bamboo is also very good in protection of river banks. Also, the roots have capacity to take in chemicals from local rivers, the chemicals from uh, tobacco farming activities. From our experiment, we started working with 240 farmers, and to date, 42% of the project farmers have already switched to bamboo farming. So they have stopped tobacco farming. And we hope over time, when we are able to get factories and they are able to get more profits, almost 100% will be uh, switching to bamboo farming. And so far, 100% are willing to switch off because of the various problems uh, they are facing. Our farmers are already making various products and selling in the market. The various handicrafts uh, you can see here that they are making. These are the furniture that our bamboo farmers are making and selling and making uh, extra income. Very beautiful sofa set here. These are also some forestia kind of uh, chairs. Our farmers are now have stopped tobacco and they are making this kind of uh, uh, chairs. This is a sofa set uh, which is also uh, of high quality and uh, farmers are, are now making this one after we started working with them. Bamboo pets. Yeah? So our farmers are already doing this business and they have already switched completely. Toothpicks, uh, toothpicks and even in barbecue kind of sticks, uh, chopsticks, they can be made from bamboo. Uh, and our farmers are already in that business, so they don't have the machines, they are doing it manually. Uh, farmers also make baskets for the local market. Uh, here we are using their traditional skills to, to make the baskets. Bamboo, especially the giant bamboo, you can use it to make uh, beehives and we make a lot of honey uh, for, for our export. Farmers are also making money from the seedlings uh, because uh, we need to improve the forest cover in Kenya. They're making quite a lot of money from seedlings. Bamboo is also good for fencing and farmers have already started selling their bamboo for that. And uh, finally, from this project, you can see uh, farmers have managed actually to buy even uh, some animals. Yeah, these animals are from uh, bamboo business. This is used for as uh, food or vegetable. Yeah, and uh, one of the farmers I met recently, he was telling me that this cow is calling me the Professor Jacob. <laughs> because we introduced the, we introduced the bamboo, so he's calling one of his animals my name. So the farmers have started using bamboo in all ways. They are constructing uh, hotels. Yeah, the decorations down here are made of bamboo. And uh, we look forward to move our farmers to make better quality products in future. These ones, they have not managed to reach this level. Uh, these are pictures from other countries. Uh, so this one is in Kenya, uh, where we are doing a demonstration house, 100% metal bamboo. Uh, these products, we hope very soon in the next one year or so, farmers should be able to make better products for export. We are also targeting to make a floor tiles in future from bamboo. We can sell uh, the poles for construction industry. These are floor tiles. Now, we have actually succeeded because of various partnerships. Uh, we are working together all over the world. 
and uh, also partnerships with the government. But uh, we have had some challenges. Uh, one of them is that most farmers are not seeing this one as a research project. They are seeing it as a development project. Yeah? So all of them want to switch. But we, that's the major problem we have at the moment. But we look forward for more partnerships where we can be able to uh, get more farmers out. So finally, I'd like to say that uh, what is remaining is to come up with proper policies and uh, mechanisms on supporting these farmers to switch. They are willing, 100% they are willing to switch from the back, but they must be assisted to shift from this tobacco to other crops. Guys, thank you so much.